Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are all good with the course and you are all uh, finding it very more very much interesting, right? Uh, we are in uh, going to finish the current assembly section with this uh, video. Okay, uh, as discussed earlier, we have completed nearly eighty percentage of the assembly parts. Okay, only the uh, only the two parts are yet to be assembled, right? Uh, we shall open the model view. The remaining parts are the crank and the uh, base for the uh, crank okay uh, we shall first uh, uh, as usual we shall first uh, start with the base of the crank okay when, once we have assembled it we can place the crank over it uh, okay crank uh, crank wheel over it okay. first we shall export the base for the crank right it, sh it would come somewhere somewhere near the uh, usually when you see the if you see some pictures of the beam engine uh, the crank uh, uh, as you can see here the cylinder and the central branch of the uh, beam engine are uh, under the same plane are present in the same uh, central plane you can see that uh, okay you can see that uh, uh, these two objects are uh, found to be in uh, collinear uh, or coplanar and find in find to be present in the same plane okay but if you see uh, but it is not the case for the uh, crank crank could be found somewhat behind to the central plane okay for that case uh, what we can do is uh, uh, we can first place a plane or uh, first we can place a plane uh, below the uh, in the case uh, behind the uh, central branch of the beam engine in order to make our work easier while assembling the uh, uh, crank base right now we shall do that for that uh, transformation for that uh, duplicating the uh, for moving the plane over that uh, I select the respective plane uh, which you are intending to move uh, select the central plane okay you go on to the option plane and click it uh, check for the direction yes it is the right direction okay you can find it I think so uh, I think you can make the giving the distance as 150 would be sufficient click okay right once we are uh, over with it you can uh, bring that uh, base to the working window this is the base which we would like to bring it open it just make it uh, relevant uh, this base also doesn't involve in any kind of motion so you don't need to specify the pin or cylinder like uh, constraints you just uh, select those uh, uh, corresponding planes and you can make the constraint okay uh, select the center planes center plane over uh, here you can uh, the distance is being taken as zero now we can make the you can see the uh, uh, this plane uh, this plane which we have uh, already been uh, uh, duplicated uh, for that section but, uh, the, but the similar plane we should need under this section for our smooth operation so uh, before uh, assembling this object we shall first uh, do the visual first uh, do that operation again okay for doing so uh, first uh, instead of uh, the performing all those operations again we can just uh, mirror the plane okay select the plane and go to mirroring one okay the mirroring option can be found here okay uh, select the plane and select the central symmetry now you can see that the similar plane has been transformed over there now we can perform our uh, operation select the respective part and uh, 
orient it select the central plane and the new central plane and the corresponding perpendicular plane and the respective plane you can specify the distance to be zero okay once you are done with it only the up and down motions are still present you can give the distance as zero with respect to the bottom base plate select the bottom surface and uh, base plate and give the distance as zero it has taken it automatically and the status has become fully constrained so you can now agree with it now the only remaining part is found to be the crank right now we shall open the crank uh, click on the assembly open the crank i think it would be in part eight no part uh, seven no part five right it's in the part five okay open it just orient it okay uh, this part would uh, involve in the rotary motion so pin joint would be sufficient right you go to the constraint and select it as pin and as usual you select the center lines first we shall uh, fix it with the uh, uh, support plate right select the center line of this uh, larger cylinder and go to the hole the support plate once you are done so uh, now as usual give the distance uh, fix it uh, firmly right for fixing it firmly select the uh, outer surface and select the uh, circular surface and give the distance as zero make it it uh, automatically it recognizes it as it Now uh, we need to specify another uh, constraint for that uh, you can go under the placement you give new set and for that also the constraint is found to be a spin so leave it and you place the connecting rod with the plane. distance becomes zero right that's all we have uh, made the com connection definition as complete and all the constraints are uh, firm enough to involve in a mechanism once it is over make the tick mark uh, the system looks somewhat congested with the with so many planes right so we can remove those planes under the datum display filters deselect all this is our final model right now uh, we can now move on into the simulation section and see how we can make some rendering options for our assembly as well as how we can uh, uh, generate our uh, simulations right uh, we shall see in the next section uh, you can now practice this assembly on your own right uh, do practice and have some uh, more interesting experience okay. if you come across any difficulties i am very happy to sort it out right uh, happy learning have a nice day bye bye